There Jesus was on the cross, hanging between two thieves. And in his last hour, he was concerned about the soul of man. He killed right man. Amen. 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 Such a remarkable act of love that he performed there while he was hanging on the cross. And one of the criminals there was railing on. Mark the other one said, be quiet, be quiet. We belong here. We did this criminal act. We deserve our punishment. Amen. This man is a righteous man. And he looked at Jesus and he said, remember me when I come to your kingdom. And Jesus said, this day thou shalt be with me in paradise. So concerned about the soul of man that even though he was in such pain, he knew his purpose to save souls. He, and even up to his last breath, he was concerned about saving the soul. Right. He looks down on us today and he's concerned Amen. about all of our loved ones. Amen. He's concerned about all those that we know. Our people that we meet on the street. He's concerned about the Amen. individuals. The background better. He's concerned about yes. it. Yes. You know? The prostitute, the harlot, the drug addict. Right. He's concerned about it. Every one of them. He died. He <coughs> suffered all this for them. Amen. To redeem, be redeemed from that lifestyle that they're in. Amen. Amen. Since Jesus gave his life for me, yes. should I not give him my Amen. What does it mean to give Jesus our life? What does it mean to hand your life over to someone? What does it mean? You give yourself to someone on a blank slate and you let them rewrite it. You take on their statutes. You take on their laws. Since Jesus gave his life for me, should I not give it? Even though we pay with our life, we still left hanging in the balance. We still found wanting. We can never give them enough. That's right. You know, if we forsake all, we do our very best. We're still unprofitable servants. That's right. Amen. We can only try every day. You know. And we don't, I'm, I'm not saying that we're not sure if we're going to heaven or not. Because if you're not sure you're not going to heaven or not, then you need to make sure. <laughs> right? Because once, you, once you've been redeemed from a life of sin, you're on your way to heaven. Amen. Amen. But we should never feel like we don't give Jesus all that we can give Him. We should never feel like we've done enough. That's right. Because enough is never enough. That's right. You know? We must give our life for Him. That's right. Take on His statutes. That's right. Be concerned about souls the way He was concerned about souls. That's right. You know, and so many in the world today, you know, used to, you could talk to people. You see them and you talk to them and you're friendly with them. And nowadays, it's such, such a rush, rush, fast-paced life. People walk by each other, they don't even say, hey, how you doing? You know, they don't even speak to one another. It, it's, it's really terrible. You know? Such a fast-paced life. But we got to reach out. we got to reach out to the world in the name of Jesus. Amen. If we want to win souls. Amen. And I realize we got this upcoming revival. Brother James will be here. And we're looking for good services. Amen. But we want to get this house full, don't we? Yes, sir. And the only way we're going to get this house full is if we get out and work for the Lord. Amen. Amen. And it takes more than, I mean, I know we're going to probably put some uh, ads in the paper and, and uh, post some things on Facebook and different things about our upcoming revival, but it takes more than that. Yes. yes. We have to get out there and talk to people. We 
Amen. Amen. show people that we're concerned Amen. about their soul's well-being. Right. And that's what a part of our life for His life, His life for our life, right. giving ourselves for Him, dying to self. Some people say, well, you know, I just can't really talk to people. I just kind of feel whenever I go to try to talk to somebody, I feel a block there. Well, that block is called Satan. Yeah, and you have to push him aside and talk to that person about the Lord. Yeah. Because, you know, some of the times Satan will put up a block just because he knows that you can be effective to talk to that person. Exactly. So we have to overcome Satan. Amen. And remember what Jesus suffered for us and how important it is to us that we follow through with his teaching. Amen. And I want to end with this here scripture here. In Mark, the eighth chapter. And thirty uh, see, thirty-four. Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up this cross and follow me. For whosoever shall save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall save it. Amen. Amen. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Mm -hmm. Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Amen. Amen. I don't ever want Jesus to be ashamed of me. What a horrible thing it would be to think that I had done all that I could do and get to the end of life's way and hear him say, Depart from me, I never knew you. We should never omit the most important things out of our lives. Amen. Amen. Brother Herman was saying this morning, there are some sins of omission. Yes. And Satan will creep in and cause us to omit yeah. the weightier things mm -hmm. and think we're okay. Look at Saul. Saul thought he was okay. Yes, he thought, he thought he was okay. And the Spirit of God left him. Look at Samson. Samson thought he was okay. And the Spirit of God departed from him. And he thought he would go up like he'd go out like he did before. And he wished not that the Spirit had left him. So let's not deceive ourselves. Amen. Study to show yourself approved. And let's always do our best for Jesus Christ because he gave his best for us. Amen. Amen. Amen.